All right, here's my first attempt at trying to make a, <clears throat> a YouTube video um, for uh, my pop-up camper. Uh, there's not too much information out there YouTube-wise on, um, you know, modifications or what people have done. But uh, just try and bear with me. I'm a member of the pop-up portal, so um, that's giving me a lot of ideas and, and whatnot. But I'm just going to run through on some of the stuff I've done. Uh, so feel free to leave comments or whatnot. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back to you guys uh, as I'm really not too much online. I'm a shift worker at a chemical plant, so my hours are kind of kind of goofy, but I'm just going to run through and uh, some of the stuff I, I've done and what you can do. Uh, right there, those are pop-up gizmos. Um, they make three different kinds. I got the, the middle uh, called like a, a high high wind but there's a super high wind that has like extra uh, cables on them or uh, bungees see these only have bungees on the one end and then uh, they have these pretty good clips and they just stick them under the top there but uh, they actually do keep the Sun off pretty damn good so if you don't have those I would definitely get a pair uh, put a, a TV antenna mount up there uh, use the self tapping screws with some die core it's pretty uh, pretty well sealed up there just take a walk around this is the campsite uh, I'm a member of a club and um, this is one campsite or one camp area out of I don't know probably a couple hundred uh, it's a nice area it's uh, called the Braidwood Recreation Club all right uh, change all the LEDs or the lights to LEDs uh, that's actually a lifesaver uh, it's pretty sweet uh, saves on battery we do mostly boondocking but uh, since we got a one-year-old we decided this is our first attempt at uh, actually hooking up uh, using the AC and actually keeps it pretty darn cool in there I'd say about 10 degrees nicer than outside uh, there's a ball leveler um, basically you just throw that on one side that you need to, to level up and start cranking down it comes with a wrench find them on Amazon it's things like godsend Used to have the Anderson leveler, Lynx levelers, boards. This thing cuts all that out. Some people might like them, some people don't. I love it, it's awesome. Uh, switched out the tires to uh, load uh, D range. Um, still doesn't change the fact how much weight you can put in your camper, but just, you know, a speed rating, just more of a peace of mind to let you know that you got, you know, better tires on there. Uh, let's see, I added a bottle opener, uh, threw some die core behind there with some self tapping screws. Um, I uh, put the screws in first, then backed them out, then I uh, covered it with die core, and I put the screws back in, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty well sealed up. Um, I have no complaints, it's been on there for a while, and I got no water issues. That's my biggest thing, and a lot of people say too, is uh, water issues. Try not to drill holes if you, if you don't have to. So, um, uh, I'll take you around the outside before I go on the in. <clears throat> Here's uh, another shot of the uh, pop-up gizmos. My wife was kind of iffy on those at first. I think they were like uh, just just over a hundred dollars for the pair. But she's you know kind of thinking, well, why do we need these, or, or why why should we waste the money? I said, well, give them a shot. If they stink, you know, it's not like they cost a fortune. But first time we used them boondocking, oh man, you, you definitely notice a difference. We got a slide out here too. Uh, they make them for slide outs. We opted not to, to get it and see. Um, it's actually not that bad in the shade. We try and park it in the shade as much as often as we can. Uh, just uh, keep it a couple degrees cooler in there. But um, yeah, I, I don't know how much extra that is. Maybe another 50 bucks for, for the slide out, but we said what the heck. All right, moving on to the water drain. Um, this is what I found online and on the pop-up portal. Uh, basically, I just went to Menards and got a whole bunch of fittings and started uh, playing with them. And there's a lady that worked there, and she kind of helped me a little bit. <clears throat> that tube up there. Um, let's see if I can get my finger in there. Oh, oh, there we go. This tube going up. That actually helps it vent, and then it goes down into that hose where it's uh, it's about a foot long, and it drains into uh, my gray water bucket. Uh, works pretty good. Better than throwing water all over the ground. Um, let's see, there's uh, my Arctic cooler with a uh, wheel package I bought from a guy on eBay. Uh, got these on sale, I think at the time, was it last year or the year before, for about 200 bucks. 
if you do not have one of these, get one. A lot cheaper than a Yeti and uh, actually <laughs> holds ice pretty darn good. Let me see if I can get a, a zoom in on this. Yesterday we went to uh, see the scratches on there. Well, let's see. Let's just bear with me with the camera. See the scratches on the bottom of the cooler. Um, actually, there's a part of the club where a farmer butts up next to uh, our club and uh, he has like deer and yaks and all that stuff and he lets everybody feed uh, the animals. Oh uh, well, we grabbed some carrots from the camper and decided to, to head up there. It's still within the club. Uh, it's just like on the outskirts, like a, like a boundary line. Well, my truck put the tailgate down and uh, I like to have the cooler in the back of there. If we go somewhere, I, I really don't trust people. I'm, I'm a, we're about an hour south of Chicago, uh, but I, I grew up there and um, I don't trust anybody. My wife says I'm paranoid, but uh, I also put, um, not to diff or deviate from the story, but I put one of these on there and wrapped it around to the frame just to hinder somebody. It's not foolproof, but it'll slow them down. But uh, basically back to the story, had the tailgate down with the, uh, the cooler on the back. She grabbed some ice. Well, I forgot to push it back in and close the tailgate. Well, when we started driving, you really can't see, but there's a road back there with a huge hill. And uh, it fell off, but we didn't know until we got about a uh, half mile away got out of the truck to go feed the deer and seen the tailgate down said oh crap where's my cooler uh, made a beeline all the way back here and this thing was sitting on the side of the road it must have fell out uh, the first hill that we drove over this thing fell and I'll show you how full it is she even took a couple gallons of milk home because of the baby but I mean there's probably four or five bags of ice in here six pack of beer um, some pops some iced tea some some food some uh, Gatorade whatever but um basically this thing fell off uh, probably I don't know maybe a three three and a half foot uh, tailgate slammed on the corner and did not crack just a little cosmetic issues these things are awesome I, I thought it was gonna be broke I have another one at home just like it just in case or if we have a party but uh worth its weight in gold I, I highly recommend them. Uh, next, let's see. Here's a baffle mod for the uh, for the fridge the, uh, to help it uh, keep a little cooler. Uh, basically, sucks air in through here and it exits out of here, so it's you know kind of just pulling uh, air uh, to keep the, uh, the fins on the cooler or on the uh, the fridge nice and cool. But I put an inline fuse here. I uh, wired it up to a battery. I'll show you that on the, uh, let me close this. Wired it up to the battery. I wired up a battery underneath the dinette and the, the camper to have this separate from uh, the regular battery from the, from the camper. Right, let me open this up. I'll uh, show you what it's like. Uh, there's some pictures online and stuff. Uh, like I said, if you go to Papa Portal, there's a whole bunch. But not too many videos on this. So I ran my wires up. Uh, made a baffle. Put a piece of plywood in there, put it to the edge, just measured it to uh, about a half an inch, inch away from where those uh, fins are, the pulling fins for the fridge. Okay. And uh, basically I just went online on Amazon and got a, a computer fan. Uh, what is it? It's a DC fan. I'm not sure. I want to say maybe 14 millimeter. I'm not sure. But it's held up pretty good. This is uh, the second year it's working. And then, like I said, I put a piece of plywood there measured in between and then uh, we got a piece of aluminum uh, to cover the exhaust kind of just to help you know from technical insulation then I got a little furring strip mounted it on the plywood put some wood glue there with some screws and then I got another piece of aluminum I was just laying around the house put it on the back <clears throat> just to go a little bit higher up on the fins but man this thing makes a difference uh, I actually tested it out um, the other day I left it off all day just figured hey what the heck I'll run it off uh, the shore power or uh, propane and um, it actually it, you definitely notice the difference because when it's on shore power or propane it works it, it stays pretty chilled I'd say 50 degrees you know 60 degrees it's not an ice box but once you turn this baby on and let it roll all day and it sucks so, so little juice uh, I just checked the battery 
power the other day, how much is left. And we've been running about three days on this, and so far, it really hasn't even sucked anything off the, uh, the battery, so I highly recommend this. And you want to have it blowing out. The, 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 the thing is, is you want um, your air to go in, go through the fins in the back, and you check the finger, obviously, this is going to fit. Come up through the back, and then get forced back out towards me. So, but uh, yeah, there's the fan mod. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite mods besides the LED lights. It's a godsend, especially when you got a little kid you throw the bottle in there just to keep it nice and chilled uh, overnight in case she wakes up in the middle of the night. Um, let's see what else. Put that back I'll screw that when we're done. Uh, hopefully I don't forget anything. Uh, let's see, on the, uh, the AC, I put a uh, hard start capacitor. <clears throat> Wasn't that expensive. It was a little tricky figuring out. You just got to make sure uh, you read your schematics on your... Um, on the AC. I'm trying to think what else I did out here. Oh, I covered this up uh, for the, the furnace. I had a piece of steel wool in there over the winter time just so mice didn't get in there. Just, we stored it at home. You know, we live in the country. But uh, we didn't have we haven't had a mice issue or a mouse issue since we bought the camper. But I figured, you know, hey what the heck. Plus the you can kind of tell they're a little rust. The steel wool started rusting. So I had some of this uh, this mesh left over from a project at home and cut it out, screwed it on there, and there we go. Oh, this is a real important one <clears throat> right here. This is my J channel mod. I really can't tell in the sunlight, but uh, let's see if I can get farther back. Basically, I got some J channel from Menards. <clears throat> got some double uh, sided gorilla tape. Uh, trimmed a uh, the J channel to what I needed, you know, lengthwise. I put it about two or three inches past uh, the roof, and as you can see, oh, the AC is dripping off right into the ground, and the canvas is dry. That's the biggest thing with these things: is something gets wet, you're, you're gonna have issues. You have to pop it back up once you go home. But uh, this is an awesome mod too. Got this on the pop-up portal. Um, what I did is, it's kind of hard. You really can't see with the sunlight. Um, I took it, the J channel, trimmed it to the length I need, and I rose it high on the uh, end where we enter and lowered it on the back. So this way when uh, you have uh, your condensation from the AC, it drips off the way you want it to. And even when you're level, um, with the pitch, you know, I gave it, I gave it like a one inch pitch. And uh, it just drips perfectly down the ground. You don't need a pool noodle. I tried the pool noodle, it didn't work for me. It kept popping out, especially in high winds or whatnot. This is pretty much a permanent fix. And then I just, uh, like I said, the sticky tape on the back and uh, die cord the hell out of it. And then trimmed up the die cord to uh, make it a little bit more presentable. There it is, you see a little bit better. We got a cloud now. And then I capped it on one and I took a little piece of extra day channel, stuck it on the end there trimmed it out and die cord it kind of to cap it off but yeah we love this thing I don't have to worry about water dripping on the canvas anything <clears throat> here's another uh, cool tip I found on the pop-up portal uh, it is PVC sewage pipe got it from an arts put caps on the ends show the other side and I drilled a couple holes in it just to let it bend in case the, the outdoor carpet gets wet. <clears throat> we uh, roll up the outdoor carpet, uh, stick it in that tube, and then uh, tighten it down. Uh, there's, you know, I think they're called barn nails or barn spikes. And we just put them through the, uh, the outdoor carpet, four corners. And then we'll <clears throat> go to uh, back up, beat it off, get all the dust off, leaves roll it up, stick it in there. I have a hammer, uh, just a small hammer, a couple dollar hammer from Menards. Roll it up, put it in there, and put the spikes inside, and holds everything I need. Put it about hand tight, and it's never came off. Got the, it's, it's in there pretty snug, but what I did is I put those cables on, got some hardware from Menards, and just, you know, uh, tied it up, screwed it down, just, just to make sure. I'd rather be safe, I don't wanna hurt anybody on the road. But, oh, pretty neat little mod. Check out that sticker from that online. Had the wife make it with her cricket and stuck it on there and it's working sweet. Yeah, replaced all the lights, LEDs. Uh, then this, 
for uh, the HD TV antenna. Uh, you just pretty much drill the hole, trying not to hit hit anything. Just gotta you know check your stuff and make sure you're not gonna drill into nothing. Drill a little hole and die cord it and put a, a cable out there. And there's just the wire hanging up and to my HD TV antenna. It's not working too good today because all these dang trees but there's times where I'll pick up 20 30 channels all right let's go inside now this I put a uh, an alarm up here because sometimes we go away fishing um, uh, going to the beach swimming and whatnot it's just a little alarm I glued up there there's the other piece it's like a sensor it goes on magnetic and you know these pop-ups you can uh, pretty much lock them up but if somebody wants in, they're going to get in. You know, razor knife, they're going to cut the outside and get what they want. We'll pretty much take all our valuables out of here when we leave. But, uh, yeah, just glued it up there. Um, you can turn on chime, alarm, whatever. And it's not going to, you know, freak anybody out by, by any means. But it'll startle them and, oh, crap. You know, it might be enough just to make them run away. But, uh, or they could reach up and just close it, but... It's pretty loud. So what we do is we just turn it on when we go somewhere and then when we come back and unlock, just reach up and turn it off. Um, let's see. Made like a uh, <clears throat> like flashlight holder from this online too. Uh, some clamps for electrical plumbing. Uh, screw them in there and then hold our mag lights and you know our flashlights for the kids. Obviously, one of the kids didn't put one of their flashlights away, so I'm going to have to address that. Uh, let's see, there's the dinette. Let me open up and show you that battery I got. I got this battery box from Amazon. Uh, I think it's from Minn Kota. Love it. I've got two of them. I recommend them. I haven't had an issue with. But I ran up my wires from the fan on the fridge mod. Uh, through the bottom, I zip tied them, and I just used existing holes because I really don't want to drill too much. And then I just put a little great stuff in there to seal it up, but uh, there it is. And then this is actually, oh wow, it actually dropped one. So all those days camping and that that uh, little fan has just sucked one bar off of this, this battery pack. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. I uh, got those big wires on that battery pack because I ran it to an inverter. Put this get back together I ran into an inverter uh, just for when we uh, boondock I'm not gonna get into all that solar panel stuff that's just too much money too much time uh, for what we do it's not like we're retired and and whatnot or we're out for weeks and weeks on end you know most of my goal is maybe a week but uh ran those wires through the bottom of the camper to this inverter came out and uh, you know, it powers, you know, cell phones, whatever, it'll, you know, give you a charge. And, you know, we can bring a couple batteries, you know, deep cycle brain batteries just to be safe. Uh, I do have a solar charger just in case batteries are low when we are boondocking to, uh, you know, charge them up. Or I can throw a battery cable on <clears throat> the, uh, the truck and you know get up for a few minutes it should be fine but i found this on amazon it's like a shoe uh, holder uh, it actually folds up uh, folds flat it's actually pretty neat but we put our towels in there it's pretty empty now the wife and kids went home i'm actually staying out one more night uh, i got a couple buddies picking me up for a godsmack concert and shine down in uh, chicago tonight so i'm staying an extra night and they're gonna come in the morning and we're gonna pack up and go home but yeah you know put our toiletries and you know our bag you know, full of, uh, you know, vitamins, shaving supplies, whatever you need. Um, and then this came with the camper, like a hanging rack. Uh, these are awesome. I forgot what they are called. There's something on it. But these are phenomenal. Uh, you can uh, turn it on for a bug zapper. And as you can tell, it's got some bugs in there. Some mosquitoes, little bitty moths. And then you just take this off and rinse it out. But it also has three settings for the light. Uh, these are awesome. I didn't think they were gonna work. Uh, check some reviews. Some were good, some were bad. Uh, we turn them on at night, plus it's a nice little night light. 
and they really don't take much power and they plug in through a USB. But <laughs> you got little kids or you know sometimes a pop-up doesn't fully close up and then you got your little holes here and there no matter how level or how tight you pull the vinyl. But those are awesome. They uh, And you don't even hear them going off, you know, like a big bug zapper. You know, they're all loud and obnoxious when they kill the bug. This, you don't hear a thing. It's phenomenal. Uh, like I said, changed out all the bulbs to LEDs. That saves a ton of power. Just pull your bulbs out and, um, you know, they should have numbers on them. And just go online and, and look them up. Now, these are a little more like a blue tint. I might have to go with different ones. They do work phenomenal. They just give off a blue hue. I haven't found any that are like an actual white. So that's a process uh, I'm still still trying to get or find. Uh, let's see, got some storage there. Here's my clothes for my Godsmith concert later. Uh, these are the O2 cool fans. Highly recommend. Batteries last forever or you can plug it in. There you go. Uh, we've got a couple of those. Because uh, like I said, when we go and dock, we don't have enough juice to uh, to run the AC. I do have a Champion 3100 watt inverter. Uh, you know, one of those quiet <clears throat> generators. But my club after 10 o'clock at night is quiet time. Even though it is a quiet generator, you can still hear them. I don't care. We've had people out here with the Hondas and the same thing. They leave them run and you can hear them. They're just not loud and obnoxious and we don't want to get in trouble. So that's why we usually don't bring it. Brought it a couple times, but it's, I don't know, just, you know how it is. You're camping, you don't want to bring a whole bunch of stuff. Some of the stuff you bring, you don't even use. Uh, there's a stove. Really don't use that much. Uh, we do most of our cooking outside. Now here's a switch I wired up for that fan for the, the, the fridge mod. On off. Uh, works phenomenal. I notice when it's off, it gets kind of warm here, but when it's on, I mean, I can't even tell there's there's any heat transfer going on there. Uh, made these shelves, got these uh, this idea from the Papa Princess. Basically, uh, two shower uh, curtain tension rods, um, and then I got a uh, closet dowel rod, like holders, to kind of hold them in place. Screwed them in the top and uh, uh, caulked them, but I used short screws as, you know, just enough to bite through the metal, just to hold it. And then you, you'd give them a twist and they pull down and restore them when, when we're uh, closed up and everything's good. A little towel holder, you know, that goes on these and they're actually pretty sturdy. I mean, I'm pushing down on these and they ain't moving. They hold all our, you know, food items whatnot. It's pretty bare right now because the wife, like I said, went home. Now this was a, a project that I really wanted to get into was changing out the faucet. But when the faucet, the, the galley folds down, see that little step there? I've got about two inches of clearance, if that, uh, when it's fold down, maybe three. Because I, I wanted to go with like a bar top, uh, so it had the sprayer, you know, not one of those tall angled ones, just something I could pull out and spray. And uh, it just wasn't working, everything I found and looked around. It was, it was a few weeks in the making, and finally I just gave up. So we just left that alone. But, um, what I did do is add this sprayer, and the wife absolutely loves this. It, uh, I, I basically cut, it pulls out further, I just don't want to deal with it right now. Um, let's see if I can turn it on and show you guys. It's a pretty sweet setup. Uh, what I did is I just drilled a hole there. Uh, followed the manufacturer's instructions, drilled a hole in my countertop, and wiped that up, even though I did caulk under there. Uh, wiped that up, or, ugh, drilled a hole, and uh, used, it, it came with a kit, it was like 14 bucks at Ace Hardware, came with the hose, and I'm not going to take the galley down, but basically, underneath the galley, uh, you got your, you, you follow your connections to your faucet, and you got the city and, the, and your tank, and I just uh, cut the tank side in half, Excuse me, and uh, I, put, I put a three-way barb in there that was the same size that would fit inside the hoses, and I uh, put one side of the barb to the faucet, uh, to the to the sink, and then I put uh, one barb uh, to the supply, you know, coming from the pump, and the other barb went onto the spray nozzle, and I use hose clamps, and I haven't had an issue with leaks, and uh, it works awesome.
Uh, trying to think what else. I don't want to miss anything because I really don't want to make another video. Uh, added that. Uh, it's got your power charger for, you know, your, your cell phone or whatever. We use DC. It's USB ports. That actually is tapped in. Uh, I, no, I did not go through the inverter. I basically ran, filed the same wires though and ran it up going to the battery under the dinette. I uh, added this little plug for the daughter so she doesn't have to have all our electronics in one spot with ours. It's got USB, uh, regular outlets. Uh, the wife sewed up those for each bunk end. You know, hold your cell phone, glasses, whatever you want to throw in there. Um, let's see. Oh, also did a uh, digital thermostat. I uh, heard some people talk about these. I, yeah, I don't know. I, we really don't go in the winter time, um, or when it's cold out. But I figured, what the hell? Found it on sale, 10, 15 bucks. Threw it on there, and it's pretty damn accurate. Um, and it does work. Uh, just follow the wires and uh, you know do what the instructions say. And it's it's 71 in here, and it's actually pretty cool. Uh, outside's probably mid 80s. And uh, with those uh, pop-up gizmos, you can see a little bit of light there on the edge. That's how much they're actually keeping the light out. Uh, obviously there we didn't tug it all the way under. We must have missed it. The light's real short and uh, kind of hard to uh, get it up there with two people. That one's really short. But uh, see all the, the light coming through there? Now if we didn't have those gizmos, all that light would be uh, shining in here and it would make it that much hotter. It, it's all, th Those are awesome. Phenomenal. Uh, it's pretty cool how they work. Basically, uh, my wife stands on one end, I stand on the other. We open it up, and we just walk it up, and then uh, start uh, connecting the bungees and putting the clips on. Let's see, I'm trying to think anything else. Oh yeah, under the beds. You know these things can, they're not that comfortable. You're, it's not like sleeping at home. You know, you got your cheap, your cheap mattress. Well, I went underneath. And uh, I went to like Hobby Lobby or Michael's, got some of this cheap foam. Really didn't do much of a difference. So then I added these, the yoga mats or workout mats, one with about three quarter inch uh, thickness. And they did make a huge difference. Uh, like I said, it's still not like sleeping at home on your bed, but uh, made a huge difference. Um, uh, some people bought mattress toppers. Uh, I thought about that, but I was measuring, and then um, it just—it's it, real tight to close the pop up down, and I, I don't want any issues with water. We don't store it in our garage. Uh, we leave it outside, and I have a Carver cover for it, which is about 250 bucks. But they're awesome covers, shed water, beautiful. I've had it for a couple years now. Not like you know, like Adco or a couple of those other brands that are really flimsy. Uh, rip easy, you know, this thing's held up pretty, pretty dang good. Car recover, recommend it. Okay, onto the TV mount. Now, some people are saying, well, why do you have a TV? Well, I've got youngsters, and sometimes they get bored, or if it's raining out, uh, this does help. I got a fire stick that uh, one of the guys at work talked me into hacking with Cody. Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but it works phenomenal. Pretty much any TV show, any movie. Uh, depends. It might give you 10 or 15 choices to click on. And for those of you familiar with that, you know how it is. Sometimes some link will work, some links won't. But uh, it also links up with like your Amazon Prime, Prime Video. Uh, if you have HBO Go, Showtime, all that stuff. Uh, live TV is not going to happen with this. I don't care what people say. Uh, you know, watch your news. That's what the antenna's for if you can get a reception. But I uh, just turned my phone onto a Wi Fi hotspot and bam, it takes off. It's ready to roll. Uh, kids were watching Despicable Me 3 last night. Uh, mosquitoes were a little bit bad the other night before that. So we watched a uh, partial of uh, Jumanji. And uh, yeah, crystal clear and no issues. Uh, I might buffer every now and again, depending on your cell phone uh, speed or where you're at, you know, tower wise. Sometimes we're in and out. But uh, I basically uh, got this idea off popaportal.com. This guy um, came up with this idea. He only had a couple pictures, and I'm thinking, man, I want to make this work. Because we used to just have the TV sitting on the counter. It took up so much space. Uh, don't lecture me. Yeah, I smoke. Um, but I got this 2x4. And uh, same thing like with the brackets over here where I told you, you know, just to go through the metal. 
I, I did the same thing. Got L bracket from Menards. Just got enough bite to get through the metal so the two by four doesn't, you know, move around. I mean, I'm pulling on a thing pretty damn good, and the whole roof's moving, so it's not. We want to make sure your roof's up and your door's set before you put this in, because you just don't want to damage or or anything. But uh, back there, I got. I got some uh, roof pegs, or not roof pegs, uh, I can't even talk. I've had so much shit I'm thinking right now. But behind there, let me see if I can get it over here. Okay, those are screw-ins. Uh, the light kind of sucks. But back here, this is a screw-in, uh, a foot peg for uh, furniture. I got that in Menards also. Um, I drilled a hole in the top of the two x four, uh, centered it, and then I got these like anchors that screwed in uh, that match the thread of these uh, foot pads uh, foot pads and you can you know screw in or out go up or down you know for the length but pretty much this L bracket does most of the, the work but th these just kind of uh, you know just give it a little extra oomph and then uh, just measured the board for how long I wanted it um, got a TV uh, swingable bracket from Menards mounted it and then behind here, I've got, uh, let's see, it's going to be kind of iffy. Shit. Well, i got these wires mounted back here with clips. And they pretty much stand there all the time. Just when we're done, we uh, unplug everything. Uh, the TV comes off with that little screw, and everything stores on the dinette, uh, folded down. Uh, the TV I bring back in the house or in the garage just because it's not an RV TV and I don't want it sitting on the extreme temperatures but uh, it works and then there's the uh, outlet or the plug-in for that wall mount outside I don't know, I have to turn that uh, plug thing on um, it plugs in and runs the TV but yeah it's a pretty neat mount uh, let's see you can go towards the bunk end See if that gives you a little bit better of a view. I got these foot pads too. Um, and I just put them in place, uh, glued them, just to give me an idea where it goes because you have to make sure this is level. So that gives me a pretty good idea. I also throw the level on it sometimes, sometimes I don't. I just eyeball it. But uh, TV pretty much swivels. Uh, actually, it clears this shoe rack, which is pretty cool. You know, and it angles towards the dinette or the kid's bed or the couch. It's, it's pretty cool. Kind of some of the comforts of home. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I cut this short. Um, switch, that, LEDs. start capacitor, the drain, uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, leave comments. I might check in, I might not, but uh, we'll see. All right, have a good day, and uh, happy camping.